Here is my first attempt at a Mason B video. As you can see, this is a normal coffee container. I put the net around it so that the birds couldn't sit and eat all the bees. I tied it to the wall near my fruit trees and it's facing towards the morning sun. As you can see, I took all of these little tubes, it's a reed called teasel, and I put them in the jar, they're all about six inches long. I measured them and cut them. They have a natural ending to them so that uh, predators can't come in from the backside. And once I cut them, then I took them over here with this tool, sorry for the uh, uh, uncomfortable look as I walk through the orchard. This is a drill bit. It's a long drill bit. It's about 12 inches long. So you can use that to drill out the teasel or any other reed that works for you. Teasel, I think, finds really, works really, really well for me. This is what teasel looks like. See, if you recognize that plant growing around, it tends to be an invasive weed around here. Portland, Oregon area, but probably in a lot of areas too. You can see the the top of it. It has a very distinctive look on the top of it and it makes natural segments and they're anywhere from you know four to twelve inches long. I try to cut them about six inches long which is really the optimal uh, length to get both males and female mason bees to nest holes in there and mason bees are really really great orchard pollinators. Notice I have these umbelliferae plants here too, which are great at um, making the uh, insects uh, come and pollinate, and also the ones that are predators on codling moth. Now this, it looks like just the clay pot at the bottom of a pot, and it is, but this is what I use to make the home so that the bees can get water because bees need water too and I used to put it just in five gallon buckets but then they would drown but here there's a local biodynamic uh, permaculture orchardist who showed me that if you do it this way the bees have a way to climb out and fly away so they don't drown so those are some tips for mason bees